Good morning everybody, Stephen Howells from Full Time Devils. This is Transfer Daily and I've got some belters here for you this morning. Two big strikers on their way in and a couple of people on their way out. Let's get straight into it. Right, the first one. I didn't have Miguel Delaney down as a bullshitter, but what he's wrote in the ESPN website this morning screams bullshit to me. Now, he's saying, according to sources. Come on, son. you got to give us more than sources. He's so according to sources that United are interested in taking him and Cavani is interested in Old Trafford. Cool. A five-year-old could have wrote that, mate. We need more substance than that. You've got to back it up with something of credence. Where's this coming from? A club insider, an agent. Talk to us. Treat us like the people that we are, man. Next up, Lewandowski. Now, he seems happy in Germany is what this sort of leads to, but this is in the MEN, and it's got all sorts of quotes which don't which don't show you what the other side of the question that he was answering was. So it's it's very strange. Uh, check it out. I'll put the link in the description below for this one for the MEN um, because it seems like he's happy for he's happy being in Germany because the things that he's saying are things like uh, it doesn't matter how much money they'll get in England or the big clubs get in England, um, they'll never be able to compete with Bayern and things like that. So that doesn't say like I'll never move there. It, so I need to know the context of the questions that he's answering here because it doesn't seem like he's talking about a transfer to a specific team. Um, he mentions that if another striker comes in, then he'll still play, which sort of does answer the the rumours that he was going to be leaving because Higuain was coming in. But it, it's just something not right. Check him out. I'll put him in the, the link anyway. Check him out and let us know what you think. Then Sports Witness. As always, Sports Witness give you the, the absolute perfect rundown with a transfer rumour. Now in this one, this is Renato Sanchez, and they're saying all of these Portuguese outlets are saying it's a done deal, right? On the face of things, happy days. But then you look into it, and the Portuguese outlets are saying, the British outlets are saying, and the British outlets are saying there's interest because there was something written in a Portuguese outlet. Madness. Complete tail chasing. So check that out. We will throw the link for this one in the description because this is how transfer reporting should do. Remember, Sports Witness, the best one on transfers. They would rather quash a rumour than start a rumour. Please check them out. Uh, and then we've got a couple going out. So Pereira, he might have been link, uh, hinting at a loan, but with the Lewandowski thing, exactly the same, where we don't see the other side of the questions that he's been asking. And it's also been translated from Portuguese because he's done an interview with Globo Sport. So he could have been saying all sorts of stuff. What he says is the sort of thing you expect people to say like I'm working hard I'm waiting for my chance I would like to get my people to see me so I can get a chance to play for Brazil in the Olympics that would mean a lot to me he's saying the sort of things you expect a young lad who's not playing and is on the fringe of the team to be playing uh, saying um, not playing um, and I don't see anything wrong with this if he gets a loan then he gets a loan I think he would probably benefit from a loan at a Premier League club like a Newcastle or or someone around about the mid table someone that plays attacking football and he's going to get the best out of him because he is a talented kid and he does need games to develop and then finally Victor Valdez do you remember him do you remember that guy that used to play for Barcelona won everything then come to United and he's third choice goalkeeper that's the fella well what he's doing now is basically nothing I think um, he's been given a lifeline <laughs> standard Liège want to take him on loan for the rest of the season of which United will have to pay part or all of his salary, which I don't think should be too much of a problem considering we've been paying all of his salary from whenever he arrived, which was quite early last year, wasn't it? It was before the end of the, year, um, before the, end of the season, I think, uh, right till now. And he's played, what, once, twice, something like that. So, standard Liège, sorting old Vic out there. Um, I'm pretty sure that that's likely to happen. That's not a crazy bullshit transfer rumour, is it? I'm sure that if there is any substance in that, he'll be on his way pretty soon. So, anyway, thank you for watching. Let me know what you think in the comments below about Cavani, about um, Lewandowski. I'll put the, the link to that below in the MEN. Uh, I'll put the Sports Witness one in. I've got Renato Sanchez as well. Let us know what you think about Pereira, if you've seen what Sky Sports are saying, and uh, give us your thoughts on Victor Valdez. Thank you for watching. Give us a like, give us a share if you don't mind, and subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you. See you later. Can't wait for the game on Saturday, hoping United show up and give us a performance and a result to really push on from the game and the win at Anfield.